lost my daughter. Um, what is her name? Her name was, is Bridget. Perhaps a moment alone might be a good idea. Hello, Bridget. Seems you've overslept. Time to get up. Wake up, sweetie. Wake up. Open your eyes, my child. Who are you? Give me a second here, I'm a little dizzy. Your father thought I might be able to wake you up. Why couldn't he just do it himself? This is very weird. Dad? Daddy? Uh, I, could you hold your voice down? I don't think they're ready to hear you shouting yet. I always shout at them. Daddy? Mom? Bridget, you've been asleep for a really long time. And I'm really hungry. What's with the dreary music? And this downer of a nightgown, it's not even my color. Bridget, you were dead. I sure feel like it. How long was I out? Three days. <laughs> Seriously, how long? I'm always serious. That's a shame. Probably the result of bad parenting. I bet your father's a grump. He can be. Look, you were dead for three days. You're not kidding, are you? I never kid. Never kid. Sure, sure. Three days? Really? I could show you today's paper. Three days? Wow. Why call you? You don't look like a doctor. I'm not a doctor. Your father already tried the doctors. So, what do you do? I share the word of God. Oh, my father does that too. He's a rabbi. Beats working. Your father's a man of faith. Does God know you're running around blabbing his word to people? He's aware. Why doesn't he just write a book? He started one. I might actually make it into the next edition. What's my father paying you? Nothing. Nothing? That's a rip-off. God wouldn't want me to accept money. So you talk a lot. Do you do anything useful, like heal people? Sometimes. Heal me. Go ahead. You're fine. No, I'm not. <coughs> See, I'm coming down with something. You're fine. I was dead for three days. I might have some nasty infection. We got rid of everything. We? God and I. Can you predict the future? I don't like to. Am I going to be waiting around for a husband or what? Don't worry about it. I'm 13. That's all I worry about. You'll be fine. That's predicting the future? You'll be fine? Prophecy can be a burden. You're crazy. What if you predict something awful, like a, a good friend's going to turn on you? Don't be his friend. Well, I think he means well. I might actually forgive him. Boy, you're a sap. Do one of your routines for me. Well, I, I just did. Waking me up? That's nothing. Do a speech. What, well, now? You might liven things up. Okay. <clears throat> Let he who is without sin... See? Right there you alienated half your audience. Uh, oh, by saying he. Aren't there any women without sin? Well, actually, I do know of one. Your mother, right? Yeah, as a matter of fact... Uh, See, all fact, guys uh, think their mothers are saints. Give me a break. I bet she had some kind of wild life before you came along. She really didn't. Anyway, back to your speech. Let he or she who is without sin... what? Uh, see, I can't do it now. What's wrong? Uh, not with you watching. Aren't you used to that? It's like meeting a comic and saying, hey, be funny. You can't. I totally won't laugh. Let's go tell everyone you're not dead. No, let's play a joke. Do you really think this is the time for a joke? Don't they look like they could use one? What's the joke? Pretend I'm still dead. <laughs> What's funny about that? You bring everybody back in and say, look, I give it my best shot, blah, blah, blah. And while they're all standing around crying, I'll jump up and scare them to pieces. What do you say? I don't think they'll get it. Then you come up with something. All right, how about we just open up the door and let everybody hug you? That's boring. Your parents are going out of their minds. Let's trade places. You pretend to be dead. Well, then I'd have to lie there for three days to convince anybody. Do you have a girlfriend? A life on the road isn't kind to relationships. Marry someone in the business. Or another prophet. They're everywhere. 
everywhere. I heard about one guy who just ran around giving people baths. Marriage would disrupt my focus. Then you need a manager. You don't like my outfit? Maybe someone wants some rhinestones. Yeah, there's always somebody with more rhinestones. You need a gimmick. I just raised you from the dead. You'll have to talk that. I know. I will. Are you going to raise somebody prettier? Of course not. You're going to raise my best friend Gertrude, aren't you? Everybody says she's so pretty. Is she dead? She might be. Is she here? She's by the punch. Hey, what kind of punch? Nobody offered me any. Then what if you had rhinestones? Hey, if Gertrude dies, do you promise to not raise her? Do you have a conscience? I'm just curious. I could be a big help to you. For example, I know how hard it is to always be the smartest person in the room. Ah, uh, the crown sits heavy, does it? They always vote me student of the year, so... <gasps> what, are you relaxing? What if they gave it to Gertrude? Gave what to Gertrude? Student of the year! Can you kill people too? Do you want me to kill Gertrude? Just long enough for me to get my title back, then wake her up. It's not a matter of whether I could. That would be so great, thank you. And then just bring her back in three days, no harm done. Harm would be done to her. You can even bring her back remotely. Just wave your hand wherever you are. Save cat fare. Please. I can tell you really want this. Oh no, she's flirting with my boyfriend Jacob! Do it now! But I... Oh no, he's flirting back! Well, that doesn't look like flirting. This is my funeral. It's no time to... canoodle? Strike them both down! Look, now people are dancing, even my parents! They're, they're all convulsing in misery. Baloney. I'm not going to cry at any of their funerals either. Look, just strike everybody down. Bring back the nice ones later. I can tell you're in great pain. Here goes. Wait a minute, I can't just strike people down. I was actually tempted, I can't believe it. What are you, Satan? I'm just a teenager. Hey, what if Gertrude's hitting on my little brother? I will not strike people down for you. <sighs> Fine, you never do anything for me anyway. Oh. Oh gee, one little thing. This is why I never talk about my day job at parties. I was at a wedding a while back, and my own mother started pestering me to change water into wine. Did she put it in those words? No, no, she just said they'd run out. And you took this as a request to be miraculous? My mother expects a lot from me. Why didn't you just run out and buy more wine? Well, you know my salary. So what did you do? Strike everybody down? No, just changed a couple of jugs of water into wine. Took two seconds. Show off. If you won't kill all my friends for me, can you at least make me pretty when I grow up? You're already beautiful. But what if something stunts my growth? Like a rock falls on my head or something? Um, oh, uh, don't walk under rocks. Make me grow up now. Then I'll forgive you for this morbid dress and for not killing Gertrude and everything. I didn't pick out the dress. True, but if you hadn't brought me back to life, I'd never have actually gone through the trauma of wearing it. There's a leper outside of town who needs my help. He's gnashing his teeth and I don't think he's got many left. Do you need an assistant? We could start a winery. My next few steps, I need to take a loan. Fine. Would you please turn off that horrible music? You make me want to commit suicide. <gasps> Stir him up. Hey, if we run out of punch, could you do your thing? We'll see. Thank you so much. I'm going to shout this from the rooftops. I'd rather you didn't. Thank you. You know, you really ought to strike down that one guy who's planning to screw you over. We'll worry about that later. <laughs>